Leo, welcome to your second week of July weekly love reading. I've already cut and shuffled the deck. At the bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups in the upright. So someone's crying over spilled milk. Okay, moving on from that, we have the, the Strength card, which represents the sign of Leo. So for some of you, oh, actually, Leo, this is your reading. So here's your card. Uh, so this is your energy. But it feels like some of you do not have the strength, either you or someone in your situation. But I feel like this is you. You don't feel like yourself this, this week. Let's go ahead and clarify. Clarifying the strength card is the Page of Swords. So there is a love offer that's not getting off the ground. Maybe someone, maybe you don't have the strength. You're not feeling like you have the strength to give this love offer. Followed up by that is the Six of Swords. So someone's carrying some baggage. Or someone may be moving away. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is clarified by the, the Eight of Cups. So for some of you, this could be a water sign because we've got two cups here. Two cards with cups here. Cups represent water sign, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So for some of you, um, someone's moving away. And they've got some baggage attached to them. The next card in the reading is the Eight of Cups. So this definitely clarifies that someone's moving away. Let me pull the clarifier for this Eight of Cups. Someone may be moving back with someone from their past. What wants to clarify that the Eight of Cups is the Hierophant in reverse. So for some of you, there have been there was a marriage involved or a long-term relationship commitment that um, is no longer intact any longer. And then some of you are just giving up. You don't feel the need to stand your ground anymore. Some of you gave up on the marriage and moved away. Knight of Pentacles. So some of you are just tired of going in circles with this person. So you're deciding to leave. Some of you are using your instinct in this situation. Some of you picked up on some type of vibe that was going on. For some of you, maybe you picked this up through prayer. Next card is a Nine of Wands. So <clears throat> someone's on guard or feeling like they need the courage to do something. Maybe someone feels like they, they need to build up the courage to leave. Nine of Wands. Let's go ahead and clarify this Nine of Wands. So it looks like also someone's distracting themselves with work to get over these feelings, that they, this feeling of heartbreak that they're, they had. Okay, clarifying the, eight, the Nine of Wands is uh, the Seven of Cups. So someone was really exploring their options. It looks like someone could have possibly been juggling more than one relationship. And they were not committed and faithful. So this caused the end of the relationship. And someone's feeling on guard and paranoid. And for some of you, this just means that you're building up the courage to leave. Others of you are distracting yourself with work, like I said before, to avoid these feelings of heartbreak. I feel, again, like the number three is significant for some of you. So there's definitely a third-party situation going on. What clarifies the Eight of Pentacles is the Six of Wands. So um, some of you feel like if you couldn't get that recognition at home, maybe you want to get it at work. For some of you, that you may be leaving a job and going elsewhere. But you didn't, you, you're ready to, you like this recognition. Someone likes the recognition that they're getting out there with um, other people outside of the relationship. They like the attention that they're getting. Maybe at work. Maybe the, the, the third party was located at your partner's uh, job. Or Leo, this could have been you. 
Three of Swords is clarified by the, the Four of Cups. So someone's not accepting someone's apology or there's an opportunity that's being missed. But with the Three of Swords here, I strongly feel like it's an apology that's not being accepted. And someone made a final decision. You or your partner. About this soulmate partnership. Or for some of you, you may feel like this was your soulmate. And that's why you're so heartbroken over the situation. For others of you, you're leaving to be with who you feel is your soulmate. Moving on from that, we have the King of Swords. King of Swords is emotionally detached. He could represent clear thinking. He can also represent um, someone cutting out the BS or anything that's unnecessary in the, in the situation. So we've got the, the King of Swords there followed up by the Queen of Swords. So to me, I'll show you these two cards. These two are a couple. And with them, with one of them being in the, the reverse and one of them in the upright, I feel like the two of you were not seeing eye to eye. And, the, and some of you have made a mutual decision to cut ties. Okay, so for some of you, this... this um, these sword energies could represent um, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and, um, and Gemini. Okay, so clarifying the king of swords is himself, the king of swords. So someone is definitely either getting some clear thinking or they're cutting away what is unnecessary, cutting someone out of their lives. Queen of swords, let's, let's clarify the queen of swords. Long shuffle clarifying the Queen of Swords in reverse is the Eight of Swords. So we have more swords, definitely a, a, an air sign for some of you. But someone is feeling, and others of you may not have the courage to cut this person out because you're just stuck in your head, you're in a mental prison. So that's a few cards that wanted to clarify the, the Queen of Swords. We've got the Hermit. So for some of you, that they might involve a Virgo. Or for some of you, you're just taking some time out to yourself to gain some introspection on the situation, to decide what it is you want to do. Because some of you are feeling stuck, feeling like you can't make a decision about this person that you want to come at, cut out. And then, you, uh, yeah, you're taking some time out to think about it. And it, it could be a fire sign. And for some of you, you're being very demanding. Either you or someone in your situation is being very demanding and guarding their feelings or guarding their money. Six of Pentacles. So someone's feeling off balance, maybe financially. For some of you, because we've got so many court cards here, you could be in court fighting over this marriage that ended. And you're waiting for an outcome from court regarding money. That's for some of you. Six of Pentacles, let's go ahead and clarify. Or some of you might feel like one of you gave more than the other. Okay, for those of you who are waiting for an outcome from court, it's gonna go in your favor whoever that resonates with. Some of you are blocking communication or there are delays in communication. That could be with court. You might have delays in the outcome, but I'm showing that the outcome is going to be in your favor. Some of you have decided to be independent. And some of, for some of you, there might be a pregnancy. OK. 
Okay, but I'm sure that the situation is calling for a time of prayer. The hermit, he's very spiritual. So some of you may be taking some time out to yourselves for prayer. And this is a time of growth for some of you. All right, Leo, this is your reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading, go ahead and contact me at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. Go ahead and follow me on Facebook. Like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for the wonderful and kind comments. I do appreciate you. All right, Leo, I love you, and I will see you again next week. I wish you the absolute best. Until next time.